Oh man. Okay, so it's worse than I thought, guys. It's not a good look. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel once again, Kenroy here. Now in today's video, I'm going to be harvesting some of my cabbage which we sowed around three months ago. Now unfortunately guys, I will be harvesting some of these cabbages a bit earlier than I would have liked. Unfortunately, I've been hit with the deadly caterpillar from the white butterfly. Now, the best thing to do at this point is just to try and salvage the heads of cabbages which were hit by this as they're sort of like maybe 70% of the way in terms of um, being developed. Now, rather than leaving them for them to be food for these caterpillars, I'll try to see if I can harvest a couple of them. Now, I'll also be trying to cover the rest of them with some netting which I had um, left over in the shed. Now, whether or not it's too late, only time will tell. However, I think it's a good idea for me to try and cover these um, to see whether or not we'll be able to harvest some more of these in the weeks to come. Now, if you're new to the channel, guys, please don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button. If you like content like this, you know, DIY projects as well as gardening, and this is definitely the channel for you. Okay guys, so most of you remember when I was planting these cabbages out, I did try to sow some in the greenhouse, which has sort of gotten out of control. But these ones which we sowed outside in this raised bed are doing really, really well. Uh, but unfortunately, I've been hit by those pesky um, caterpillar like I mentioned. I thought I was going to escape them this year actually, so I did take the risk of not covering them. In previous years, I got absolutely destroyed by these caterpillars. Now, uh, things are a bit weird. I didn't see many butterflies, so I thought maybe I would have missed them this year. But unfortunately, um, yeah, I'll show you what we're working with. So I've been going around literally trying to um, get rid of the ones which was on this head of cabbage here. They've started to do some damage on the outer leaves and in that corner there. Undoubtedly, there might be a couple more on there. So rather than just leaving it, I figured I might as well harvest it as the cabbages are actually starting to um, firm up and it's a decent size. And I figured to myself, why not harvest it? At the very least, we'll be able to use it. Maybe we can pickle it if we can't actually steam it with some other vegetables um, but I didn't want it to go to waste um, they've also hit this one over here at the back which you can see here um, yeah they're chomping away at this one I did remove a few from here as well but there's always an extra one or two lurking underneath so my idea guys is to harvest these two cabbages clear them out the way and then I'm going to try and put some net in on these two at the front which seem at the moment anyway not to have been affected however now looking down there i think i could see signs that this one also might have been hit but <sighs> nevertheless i'm um, just going to try and cover them this one is um a, a little ways behind but it's looking good again it might also be infected another thing that also affect these um is a slug so between the slugs and the caterpillars it is not easy growing these cabbages but this absolutely is going to be the last year where I grow these without covering them with net now as you can see um, it's pretty packed in here anyway so covering it with nets was going to be a challenge from the start however now that I've learned my lesson I will just have to grow less and you know cover them with some netting in the hope that obviously they won't be destroyed by the caterpillars so yeah i'm just gonna chop these ones out and then see where we go from there how gorgeous do these look absolutely stunning um, this is my second time actually trying to grow cabbages and once again I'm back here with my old enemy the caterpillars but I'm not going to get too despondent over this because these definitely look a lot healthier the second time around 
we were able to harvest some of these leaves before and we've been having cabbage leaves before these pests started um, taking over um, so yeah just gonna strip this back for you to have a look at it to see what um, it looks like it's a decent size not bad for a first attempt I would say but um, yeah so let's strip this back okay so before I actually strip this back I'm gonna go and have a look at the other one and see how that one is how badly damaged it is and then I'll have a look to see whether there's anything worth salvaging so let's have a look well this one is slightly smaller um, but it's looking so healthy and honestly if it wasn't for these caterpillars I think we would have gotten some really really nice sized heads you can look at the leaves they're quite big um, but yeah I guess it just was never meant to be I'd love to know if you guys grow cabbages in your garden and if you do um, what's your strategy because I think I need some help here we got a little spider there it's crawling not sure if you can see that it's trying to run away why didn't you protect my cabbages that's what you should have done oh man Okay, so it's worse than I thought guys, which to be honest, I kind of suspected. Oh, these guys have been busy. I'm gonna strip this all the way back. Oh, I've got caterpillar poop all over me. That's where they've chewed all of the cabbage leaf and just spat it out and this is what I'm left with so sad there's so much hope and potential I mean that looks like I don't even know what that is that is a sad sad state of affair all my hard work has gone up in flames Ah, yes, I found you. I was wondering where they were hiding. Don't know how well you can see that on camera. You can see these little guys. There's one right there. There's another guy there. And it's just ridiculous. Oh, there's a third. All hiding inside. And there's a fourth down here. Oh my word, there's so many of them. There's one right in there you probably can't see very clearly <sighs> it's not a good look it's not a good look at all okay so here's the larger one um, after seeing that smaller one I'm not particularly hopeful they probably have done the same amount of damage on this one if I'm being honest I mean, look at these leaves they're so gorgeous <sighs> oh, so heartbreaking. Is that a caterpillar egg? Caterpillar egg? Is that a slug or something? No, nah, that's just a slug. Slug. Slug, it is not something. Look at all the damage they've done. Oh my word. <sighs> the joys of. You fancy some cabbage? Mm. This one feels. Yeah. Wow, so they're all I think they're probably in all of them. Mm, only maybe this one. They've only started on a section of this one. But I've just paired back the leaves which were damaged on this larger one. But unfortunately, um, there's not a huge amount left. I mean it's the size of my hand um, it's not a bad size and like I said this would have been absolutely a huge one if it managed to have gone full term it would have been absolutely amazing but also I can see that this one was actually attacked um, by some slugs um, which again that's pretty typical when you're doing organic gardening any type of organic farming you've got to be um, willing to take some casualties from some slugs that's a given really so this I'm gonna try and salvage it and 
at least do a meal out of it. Like I said, it's still looking pretty good. I mean, it's just a taste of what could have been. I'll try and cover the others and see if we're able to salvage any of them. Okay guys, so it's a bit of a bust with those cabbage heads, unfortunately. But what I'm gonna try and do now is to put some netting over the remaining cabbages that we've got behind me, but also the ones that are on the walkway leading up to the garden. I figured I might as well give it a shot rather than leaving it to fate. Um, before long, there'll be more um, butterflies flying around, laying their eggs on there, and we'll be back to square one. I'm completely gutted, but I'm not gonna give up. So now a few years ago, I actually bought some netting, which I've managed to find, thankfully. So, so I'm gonna try my best to get this spread over the cabbages and see what happens. Wish me luck. Okay, that took me far too long to cut with these scissors. Clearly, I had the wrong scissors for this job. This nylon yeah, is so tough to cut, um, but I managed to cut through it. So I'm just gonna drape it over the cabbage and hopefully uh, we'll see in a, in a week or two whether or not any of them survive. I kind of feel a bit gutted because I feel like I should have done this all along but you live and you learn but now that I've cleared a few of the cabbage hedge from the raised bed I've now got more space where I'll be able to tend to my pumpkin come let me show you what I mean okay so this is the netted cabbage heads I've got around four left in this section but I've also got a few over here which I will cover with some netting um, off camera um, in a little while and we've got some potato over here, which um, have sort of just been left to their own devices. And um, yeah, so what I wanted to show you is our pumpkins, which are over here. I don't know if you can see that, but there's one little guy there just sprouting, which is looking good. And this pumpkin vine is actually really, really healthy looking. And what I've done in the past, because of limited space, I've literally um, trailed them on the fence by tying some um, twine and literally attaching it to it and allowing it to run all the way across so um, it's kind of started that as it's climbing over uh, all this broccoli here which is hilarious to see actually um, so that's what I'm going to be doing uh, to make sure that we hopefully get some pumpkins from these vines now the last thing I'm going to show you guys if you look really closely you can actually see some broccoli starting to develop on these heads which is exciting to say the least now i probably need to cover these as well as i don't want them getting eaten by caterpillars so yeah i'm um, gonna cover these as well but first i'm gonna sort out this pumpkin and then we'll see how things go okay so i just came in the greenhouse guys and look what i've seen hiding away having a little nap in the greenhouse of course is one of those pesky white cabbage butterflies and uh, yeah, don't even know how it got in here. These things just get absolutely everywhere. So this is what they look like. So unassuming, um, you see butterflies in your garden, you get so excited. <sighs> well, little do you know what their plan is. They're here to kill, steal and destroy one's cabbages and brassicas. 
but mostly cabbages. Oh, you're free. I had pity on you. Go and sin no more. Okay guys, in the hopes of cheering myself up a little bit, I think I'll come and harvest a few of these. Um, oh, that's a nice one. A few of these beetroots, um, which I had, um, leaving them for them to get a little bit bigger. But I don't want them to start going woody, so I figured I might as well harvest them. These are the golden variety, which are really, really nice, really cool actually. Um, I'll probably show you another time what they look like on the inside. They're so nice bright yellow and um, we had a few of the red ones left over somewhere and here we've got the traditional red beetroot again and I figured that these aren't going to get any bigger so I might as well harvest them um, and we can juice them and Sophia is actually going to try and pickle some of these so we'll see how we go with those ones it's been a bit of a mix bag in terms of um, these beetroots this year I must say but it's still better than the year before so I'm hardly complaining and remember these are all organically grown with no pesticides or anything like that so I can't complain got myself a nice handful of beetroot organically grown so I can't complain so I think we're going to get these cleaned up and put them with the others that were harvested the other day and we can try and see if we can pickle some of these bad boys. Okay so this is the last thing I'm going to show you guys which is if you look closely this was that trellis that I made um, about a week ago and as you can see um, our cucumber plant is starting to trail up that trellis um, you can see some more um, growing here, some new shoots at the back um, and I'm waiting for this, uh, this section needs to be tied up as we've got some more cucumbers here but if you look in the back there, can we see our very first cucumber guys, look at this, oh this is incredible so yeah, I think I'm going to leave that for today, probably harvest it tomorrow um, so we can have it fresh. Plus I want Sophia to come and have a look at it. She didn't believe me when I said they do grow quite quickly and once you start harvesting them, then they basically don't stop growing, which is fantastic. So cucumber plant is doing well. I've made some space in this raised bed and I've planted out some more lettuce. Uh, just over here. Its broccolis are looking really really nice as well as this tomato plant which already has tons of tomato growing on there. Excellent. So yeah looking good guys. Then we got that stunner of a sunflower up there which is just standing tall. Gorgeous. Okay lovely people gonna leave this video here as you can see there's so much to do with so little time. Um, it's now 7 30 in the evening um, the kids and the family are having dinner inside while I'm out here tending to the plants after finishing work. Um, there's just never enough hours in the day. But I thought I'd just give you guys a little update on our cabbages and unfortunately things aren't looking so good for this first set which we planted out. But hopefully we'll be able to get some harvest from some other plants. So that's it for me today guys. I'm a bit down about um, the prospects of our cabbages getting eaten by caterpillars but um, you just got to keep on going when life gives you lemon you're gonna make yourself some lemonade as always this is Kenroy signing off for another day saying I'll see you when you see me take care guys and happy gardening <laughs>